The question I get asked more than anything on any social media ever, all the time, just non-stop, is how do I start bodybuilding? What do I need to do? What does it take? How do I do it? What, what do I need to change in my life? So I thought, what better way than to explain this than to make a video about the beginner's guide to bodybuilding. This video is gonna be pretty much things that I've learned when I was when I started out that really helped me, things that didn't help me and which I didn't do. And then also it's gonna be um, training, diet, supplements, tips, everything to help you start and sort of evolve bodybuilding into your life. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Because I will. So first off, training. When you come into the gym the first time you're really ever setting foot in the gym for a bodybuilding sense, you're really not gonna know that much, unless you've done research previously about how your body is gonna respond to certain exercises, how you're gonna feel doing certain exercises, and pretty much what you need to do in order to, and what you need to do in order to grow, and what you need to do in order to grow and make your body respond. So firstly, we need to understand training frequency. So when I first started, I, Originally, this is something that you guys can take away. When I started, I started at Norwood Gym in Norwood, the football club gym. And I was doing full body workouts with my mates, Harrison and Ryan. We really didn't understand so much about technique or about what's gonna actually get our muscles grow. We just thought that it would be better than nothing to go in there day after day and lift weights. And this was, I was not taking it serious at this point, but after I still gauged a sort of understanding of how my muscles responded to certain exercises. Although I didn't train correctly, I didn't do compound lifts, deadlifts, bench, squat. I did bicep curls, tricep push downs, and chest flies. You guys really will take something away from this and don't make the same mistake that I did. But anyway, getting back to muscle frequency and like training frequency, I would recommend any beginner to train two times, two body parts per day, because your body, you're not going to be putting as much effort into your body because you're not lifting max, maximum poundages or kilograms because you're just starting out. So your body can take more and it will, it will get sore at the time but recover quicker because your body is not putting in, as, you're not putting in as much, putting as much load on it. When you get to where I'm at now, I'm putting a lot of stress on my joints, a lot of stress on my a lot of stress on my muscles, so it takes me longer to recover. So now, after maybe a year and a half of doing two body parts per day, I would do, I am doing now um, just one body part per day. Sometimes I still train two, but it's pretty much one body part per day, and then on the weekends, I will train something that um, needs to be needs to be brought up, like that's usually my legs or my upper chest or something like that, but yeah. So for you guys and girls, what I would recommend, guys. So Monday, chest and triceps, Chest is the primary muscle, triceps are the secondary. Back and biceps, same principle applies. On Tuesday, back and biceps. On Wednesday, you could do just legs, or I used to do legs and shoulders. What? I'm doing a video. Don't tell that like you know what we be leaving. We in the club all the time, it's a prop pop off. Shady at the mat. <laughs> you could Anyway, so where was I going? Oh yeah, so Wednesday, so uh, Wednesday was um, legs and shoulders, and then uh, Thursday I would repeat, or I'd go back and biceps, and then swap them around. So I'll put this, I'll put one here for you guys, like a sample plan of what would be really good for you guys, and really your muscles would respond to very well. Um, in the first general months of training and being, and making, and allowing your body to understand what you guys need. I can't like stress it enough that you guys, I feel like you guys and girls, I see too many people, like it's, I can, I can take this away from myself, but this is what I did. I go to the gym, oh I want big biceps. You wanna get big biceps from being strong and being able to lift heavy on exercise. So if you grow, pretty much what I'm trying to say is you guys need to learn the basics, compound lifts, so that is multi-joint exercises, so they use multiple joints. So a bench press, the common compound lifts is a bench press, a deadlift, and a squat, which none of I did when I first started for about the first six months. 
And I really wish I did. I'm lucky that I've been able to train correctly and have some really good training partners that have helped me cancel out the months I missed in my first phase of growing and actually become stronger now. So deadlift, squat, bench. If you do those twice a week, same as even three times a week, constantly progressively overloading, adding a little bit of weight each time, maybe going for strength, going for reps, you'll grow tremendously. Like deadlifts is the number one exercise where you see, you just see your body, your whole physique will thicken, it'll be stronger, you'll feel better about yourself. You don't have to worry about the bicep curl so much. Just really focus on the compound lifts and learn the basic movement. You don't have to, something I can, I really hope you guys take this away. Do not just go straight to isolation movements because you haven't been in the gym, because you aren't really familiar with the equipment, you don't actually know how to target your muscles properly enough on the isolation, like that's why it's called an isolation because you're isolating a single muscle and if you haven't ever trained in the gym before, if you don't know how to target or isolate that muscle, then the isolation exercise is probably going to be pointless. So, train compounds, deadlift, bench, squat. I'm also going to put a sample workout here for chest and triceps that I would have used when I actually would still have them on my phone from when I first started. I used to write down my workout so I'd know what I did, what I do, and then I wouldn't do them the next day or the next week. Okay, so second topic is of course the diet. Once again, I did not focus on my diet for the first six months of training. I did no compound lifts, no isolation movements. It was all suited to having just, it was just suited to lifestyle. I just wanted to, I just wanted to have big arms. Honestly, I just wanted to have big arms and I didn't really care about the diet. I didn't really care about um, the compound lifts. I just wanted big arms, big triceps, big biceps. The diet where I'm trying to get to. You need to alter your diet to muscle growth, repair, and muscle health. I cannot stress enough that I'm a big believer in the diet is almost 75% of everything. Obviously, training is so, so important. But if you I've always said this, if you train as hard, as hard, as hard, as hard as possible, but you don't diet, you're not gonna get as many results as someone who doesn't train as hard, but their diet is on point. So you can train as hard as you want, but if you don't have the diet in check, you're not gonna get the results of someone who's training half as hard as you. So always focus on the diet. It is so, it is so, so important that you guys get your diet right. So everybody is different. Everybody has a different basal metabolic rate, and I was talked about in this other videos before. A basal metabolic rate is the amount of energy you need per day, consume, you need to consume per day in order to function and do your basic activity. So you can, the energy can be measured through the calories. So my basal metabolic rate, it's based, I'm like 96 kilos, 90, 94 to 96. It's probably around 2,300. And then with on the other exercise I do in the day, I'm burning more, it's even higher. So I've been able to work out mine over a time. Your body adjusts as well when you start adding in calories, but you need to guys, I'll put, the web, I'll put a website here where you can go and find your daily energy requirements and your daily calorie intake that you need. Obviously it's not gonna give you the macros that you need, but I'll talk about that as well. So make sure that you do not follow anyone else's exact diet because everybody is different, no matter what. Everyone's different, so a mesomorph is gonna be different to an ectomorph, and an ectomorph is gonna be different to an endomorph. Honestly, you guys need to individualize your diet and what, to what suits you. And the only way you're gonna be able to do that is by constant trial and error. And after two and a half years, I have trial and error. I know what works for me. I still don't know everything that works for me. And I still know things that are bad for me. But you're not gonna grow unless you're in a caloric surplus. So eating more than your body needs on a daily basis. To get in a surplus, you cannot, it is not gonna be, it's not gonna be, um, it's not gonna be wise to get in a surplus through eating junk food, through eating processed, sugary, chemical foods, it's gonna be, to maximize your results in the gym, you're gonna need a balance of whole foods, vegetables, carbs, sometimes starchy carbs. You guys are gonna need a balance of all those. Obviously, you're gonna to have to alter your diet, and you'll, you'll see what foods you like. So, pretty much my advice for macros, so whatever you weigh in pounds, a pound of your body weight, have one gram to 1.5 grams of protein, per pound of body weight that you have. So if you have, if you have, if you are 155 pounds, you could have 155 grams of protein. If you are 200 pounds, you could have 250 grams of protein, even 300. Honestly, it's trial and error. I wouldn't go any higher than probably 1.5 grams to 1.75 grams. 
Um, it depends for me, but that's just for me. Obviously, I keep stressing that everybody is different. <laughs> okay, so where was I? Um, carbohydrates are a difficult thing to understand. A lot of people think that they are very bad for you. Low GI carbs can be very good for you and you will not survive in the gym without them. If you want to be strong, if you want to be powerful, if you want to be, if you want to grow in general, you need to eat carbs. For me, I would go carbs, maybe 1.5 grams of carbs to two grams per pound of body weight. So right now, I'm having, I'm 210 pounds, I'm 96 kilos, so I think that's like 210 pounds. I'm having 280 to 300 grams of protein. I'm having 300 to 325 grams of carbs, and I'm having 80 to and I'm having 80 to 80 grams, 80 to 85 grams of fat. Nick, plan to go into my video. Wait, you're in my video. What? <laughs> With the fat, you want to you want to have medium fat. So I'd say 0.5 grams. Another thing I can't stress enough to you guys is you need to slowly ease into it. If you I know lots of people say this, like, you need to, especially Nick Sheedle, Nick Sheedle says this a lot, I really um, admire that he goes out and says this stuff, but you cannot just change, if you're eating a certain way for your entire, whatever, however long you've been eating this, this way for, if you just go, nah, screw that, I'm going to be the, big, the biggest bodybuilder in the world, I'm going to be huge, I'm not going to, I'm just going to eat clean 24-7, just from the word go, you're going to, you're gonna have binge, you're gonna fail, it's not gonna work. Your body simply cannot take that kind of a change so suddenly. So my best advice to you is slowly take out the junk, the processed foods, and slowly increase the whole foods and the vegetables. And maybe three months down the track, two months down the track, then start really nailing it in. If you just go whack games, you are not going to see the results and you're gonna just, it'll just, what, it just won't last, you just won't be able to sustain no matter how dedicated you are. Another thing is water. As you can see, I drink probably like six of these a day, along with my 16 monsters that I apparently have. Um, I drink about six of these a day, these just water, and that is their 600 mils, so whatever six times six is, 36, that's 3.6 liters of water that I'm drinking a day. Hope that math was right. Just from drinking six of these a day. So I just keep filling them up. Um, and I don't even really take notice of it anymore. When I first started it, I was like, well, this is a lot of water. I need to piss every five seconds. And now I'm good. But I stay dehydrated. You get, like, honestly, it's underestimated even by myself how, like I know it and it's still underestimated by myself how important water actually is in terms of lifting strength in terms of just overall performance in every aspect of your life. Water is so, so important. When you wake up in the morning, just have a glass, have two glasses, just keep gradually increasing. It's, it's pretty much the key message here in, for you guys beginning is to gradually increase. If you just go start from the get-go and try to be the best possible bodybuilder in the world and the cleanest and the most 100% dedicated, it's not going to work out for you guys. You guys need to ease into it. You need to learn the basics. And you just need to enjoy yourself. I see too many people trying to be 110%. Oh, you can't go out to party because um, you will get drunk and you'll, you you can't have a, you can't have a single like lolly. It's gonna affect you all your diet. You're not dedicated. You can't have fun with bodybuilding. You have to be 110%. You have to be the saddest cunt on the face of the earth if you want to be the best bodybuilder in the world. No, you can enjoy yourself. You can go out. You can have fun. You don't have to drink. You don't have to eat. You can get. I go out and I have. I still don't even go out that much, but when I go out with friends, I'll go. I'll be there late because I'm at the gym, but I still see them. I'll be. I'll have my meal before I go. I'll have my meal when I get home. I'll have nothing there but water. And if I do drink, it's not much. So, guys, honestly, that's another message that I really want to give to you: is to have fun with what you're doing. Don't be forced into being the most miserable person on the face of the earth for this for the sake of bodybuilding. You're not gonna. It's not gonna be sustainable. It's all about sustainability. So. Take that away. So, at the very beginning, this is goes along with diet. You need to you need a calorie count. You need to learn the nutrients in foods. What foods have what supplements, 
Supplements are a major, 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 major part of the bodybuilding industry. There's nothing worse than I can get than have someone message me saying, I want to get big, what supplements can I take? The reason they are called supplements, and anybody will tell you this who knows what they're talking about, they are there to supplement good nutrition and good training. If you just take supplements, protein powder, no, none of the food, none of the whole foods don't train right, they will do absolutely nothing. Supplements are extremely beneficial in getting that extra five, 10%. There is no point spending all your hard earned money on supplements if you aren't doing the right things in the first place. Supplements are a great thing and they can be used very effectively and there are great companies out there, EHP Labs, MTS, Optimum, but there are some companies that that make their supplements seem like they are the bill and end all and they are not. So I think a few tips and things that I've learned that have really helped me. Make it as fun as possible. Shoot challenges. Challenge yourself against your training partner. Have a good training partner. Train hard, focus, enjoy yourself. Honestly, there's nothing more that I can stress than to enjoy yourself because if you do not enjoy yourself, you'll start hating the gym. It'll be something you don't want to do, it'll be something you don't enjoy doing, it'll just be something you have to do. I don't want it to be something I have to do, I want it to be something I want to do and want to enjoy. Have patience with it. It's not gonna come easy. Results won't come easy and they won't come fast. You'll notice results after a long period of time. You will notice, wow, well, I've changed since back then after looking at photos, but the exact time, maybe from day to day to month to month, you might not notice that much change. But when you look back and realize where you started, then you will notice a very big change. Social media wise, really, if you enjoy what you're doing and you have knowledge and you feel like you can help and benefit people, and you feel like what you have learned or what you've experienced is gonna benefit others and their experience, then I feel like there's no other, there's no better way to do that than post on social media and explain your side of the story, what you, what's happened to you, or what's got you into this, what you've learned. Every bit of information can help someone. And another thing, when I first started, I researched, looked up, watched videos consistently, day after day after day after day. I just wanted to learn everything about bodybuilding. I still was easing into it. I still was not taking my diet as seriously as I should have been. I wasn't doing compound lifts, but I wanted to know everything there was to know possible about bodybuilding, and that has tremendously helped me to where I am now. Really, just have fun with everything that you're doing with bodybuilding. If you're if you're not enjoying it, if you're not enjoying it, and um, you aren't having fun, you will not last. So that's going to conclude this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you take something away from it. Um, if this video is for everyone, not just not just guys, it's also for girls, it's for teenagers, men, females. It's just for anyone that's looking to get into the gym, or even if you've been in there for a while, you can take things away from what I've learned over my time being in the gym. Yeah, so if you can please let me know what you want to see on my channel down below, I would be very appreciative of that. So thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video.